Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to make keto cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce is a must have for Thanksgiving. You can't have turkey without it, right? But let me be honest, I actually make this all winter long. Cranberries are available from the early fall all the way through the winter, at least in my area. So I make this over all kinds of other dishes. It's delicious over chicken or meatballs, but you probably want to serve this over turkey. I'll show you a side at the end of this video as well. Problem is that store-bought cranberry sauce is loaded with sugar. Cranberries are very tart on their own, so it takes a lot of sugar to make the cranberry sauce sweet. So here's the good news. You don't need all that sugar to make a delicious, sweet cranberry sauce. All you need is... Ah! Bestie sweetener! I guess this bag wasn't all the way closed. Uh, but seriously, you guys, this stuff is the best. I've been making this cranberry sauce for years, actually using other sweeteners. And while it was pretty good, it tended to crystallize over time. It wasn't good to make ahead. It didn't freeze well. This, this is the stuff you need. This dissolves completely so that there's no grit in your sauce and it's going to store well. It's not gonna crystallize in the fridge. It's not gonna have any issues with freezing. This makes the best cranberry sauce. A link down below where you can get this. It's available on my website or on Amazon. Bestie is actually a natural preservative, so that makes the cranberry sauce store really well. You can make it ahead up to a week ahead. That's how well it stores or freeze it for several months. And most importantly, it tastes just like sugar, so your family will never know that your cranberry sauce is low carb. By the way, I have more videos for keto holiday recipes coming up, so be sure you subscribe, that way you'll be notified as soon as they are ready. And if you're anything like me, you want your cranberry sauce to taste like the real thing. Bursting with fresh cranberries, nice and sweet, thick, but not that solid jello like that stuff from a can, right? Check, check, and check. Give this keto cranberry sauce recipe a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. Let's do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is zest an orange. You're going to need a citrus zester just like this, and there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can either slide the orange against the zester like I'm doing here, or you can do it the other way around and slide the zester against the orange. I have to admit, I struggle with this a little bit, so if you have any tricks for zesting an orange easily, let me know. One thing that you do want to watch for is make sure that you're only zesting the orange part. Don't get the white pith because that is going to be bitter and we don't want that in our cranberry sauce. You're going to need only about a teaspoon of orange zest. A whole orange is going to have more than that, so just zest what you need. And if you want to zest the whole orange, you can always use the rest for a different recipe. And one more thing, just to get this out of the way, oranges are not keto friendly, but the zest is keto friendly and it makes a delicious sugar-free cranberry sauce, so we're going to want to include that. Now, the rest of this is super straightforward. You're going to grab a saucepan, just make sure it's large enough to fit the cranberries and a little water and some room for boiling as well. And we're going to add 12 ounces of cranberries to the saucepan. Now, if you'd like, you can double this recipe. If you want to make a big batch, just use a bigger saucepan. And I'm adding three quarter cup of water in there as well. Now, the best part, this is what's going to make our cranberry sauce sweet, Bestie powdered sweetener. If you like, you can actually use crystallized Vesti as well because it dissolves so well that it really doesn't matter. If you're using a different sweetener, you do need it to be powdered, otherwise it's just not going to dissolve enough. So you're going to level that with a knife and then add it to the saucepan. And now I'm going to measure out a teaspoon of that orange zest and add that in as well. Now I'm just going to stir this all together Make sure everything is evenly coated. You'll notice that Bestie starts to dissolve in the water right away. And once that's all stirred together, we're going to bring that to a gentle boil and then reduce heat and let it simmer. And funny story, so I used this wooden spoon for this keto cranberry sauce and it completely ruined my spoon later. So I don't recommend using a wooden spoon. It's going to stain it pretty badly. So just something to keep in mind. Cranberry sauce is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. It's pretty quick and you'll notice the cranberries start to pop 
and then it's going to start to thicken. One thing to keep in mind though is that the sauce will thicken further as it cools, so it will be a little bit thin when it's done. You can just kind of watch the consistency and decide when you want it done. And if you realize that you need to cook it for longer, you can always do that even if it cools a little bit. I'm just going to stir this occasionally. You don't need to stir constantly, but stir every once in a while. And once it's done to your liking, add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. At this point, the cranberry sauce is ready, but if you like, you can also add some additions here. You can add some holiday spices like cinnamon or nutmeg or allspice. Ah, that smells so good. And this consistency is just perfect for me. If you like a warm cranberry sauce, you can keep it in the saucepan until you're ready to serve. Or if you want it to cool down a little bit, then go ahead and remove it from heat and you can transfer it to a bowl or whatever you're going to serve it in. So that's just what I'm going to do right now. Be careful because it does tend to splatter. Ah, uh, just look at that. This consistency is just the way I want it. It has that nice gelling quality a little bit, but we also have some of the whole berries in there as well. And that's it. Our keto cranberry sauce is ready. This is one of the simplest low carb holiday recipes. We use just four ingredients. It took us only about 15 to 20 minutes tops. And this is perfect for making ahead for your holiday meal. And I actually happen to have a couple of dishes here that go perfectly with this cranberry sauce. I couldn't resist. It's not the holidays yet, but we're doing this. Let's make up a plate. So we have a slow cooker turkey breast. I didn't go all out and make a whole turkey, but I did slice some turkey breast and make that. I'll link the recipe for you. And we have some roasted garlic green beans. I'll link those as well. And let me know if you want me to make a video for these. I don't have videos for them yet, so let me know if you want to see it. And the best part, let's add some cranberry sauce to that turkey. I am so ready to give this a try. go some turkey and dip it in that cranberry sauce yum that was amazing tart and sweet at the same time this turkey is pretty good too not gonna lie make this for your holiday meal you guys and if you do make this sugar-free cranberry sauce recipe be sure you snap a photo. I love seeing your creations. Post it with hashtag wholesome yum so that I can see it. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.